I'm Michael, I'm a student, and I like drinking beer. Um, like any other student, I tell you, we're constantly bombarded by leaflets and flyers with drinks promotions. Um, and generally, we'll, we'll go, we'll have a drink. But we won't actually think about how the alcohol gets there. Um, and being a beer man myself, I decided to look into some of the processes that goes into actually making the drink. Um, so I've arranged for an interview at the local brewery near me, which is Howtown Brewery. Um, and hopefully we'll find out about some of the processes that go into making it um, and making it the wonderful drink it is. Um, so, come with me. Hello, I'm Tony Hume and this is Howard Town Brewery. Uh, Howard Town Brewery is in Old Glossop, which is the posh bit of Glossop. Glossop is a town in Derbyshire. How long have you been brewing beer? Right, we started April the 1st, 2005, um, and then we burnt down on April 1st, 2006, and started brewing again on the current premises uh, May, June, July, July 15th, 2006. What made you decide to open a brewery? Well, I worked in computers for about 20 years, and eventually the work started to dry up. I found I was spending so much time actually working, I wasn't keeping pace with changes. I saw a brewery for sale and realised it didn't seem to be that much to, um, to set up a brewery. So I started off with a friend in Glossop and we um, bought the kit, worked out a business plan, raised money and off we went. How many gallons of beer do you produce a week? In one batch we can produce 288 gallons in one brew. Currently brewing on average twice a week. What different kind of beers do you brew? We do eight beers, regular beers. We do a number of seasonal specials. So we do a spring special, an autumn special, a winter special. And we do uh, a few one-offs. St George's Day, Valentine's Day, and so on. Most of the beers are named after local landmarks like Wren's Nest, after Wren's Nest Mill, um, Breeklow, after the mountain, Longendale Lights, after the uh, alleged UFOs on Longendale, Deating Arches and so on. Most of the beers are light and hoppy because that's what people like to drink. But we do two darker beers, there's um, a mild, a dark mild military, brought up for Glossop, and um, a dark porter, a rum flavoured porter. How long does it take to brew the beer, from raw materials into the final pint? It takes a day to, to brew it. Um, we start about 8 o'clock in the morning and at 5 o'clock we're just about finishing and then we have to clean up. After that it takes 4, maybe 5 days to ferment and then there's another day spent casking it and putting it away and checking in the numbers of the casks and this, that and the other. So it's a week, say, a week altogether. Cheers, thanks very much. So, the beer from Howard Town is proving very popular. Not only with the people of Glossop, but the whole of the country it seems. But one of Howard Town's beers, formerly known as the Wren's Nest, has gone from strength to strength, winning the 2007 National Championships for the best beer, after the setback of the original brewery burning down back in April 2006. Having been to the brewery and had a look around, it is apparent a lot of pride and dedication goes into every batch produced at Howard Town, and this is surely represented in thirst quenching products. Beer has been mass produced for hundreds of years, but it has been around for thousands. In fact, the first evidence of the brewing process was over 6,000 years ago by the Samarian people. It was recorded in a prayer to their goddess, which was hidden in scriptures carved in stone. After I left the brewery, this got me thinking about how much of the beer drank in the UK is actually produced in the UK. I found out that a staggering 90% of beer drank in the UK every year is actually brewed here. I also found out that in the UK, 28 million pints of beer are drank every single day, which equates to 100 litres per person each year, in comparison to 20 litres of wine per person. The duty on a pint in France is around 5p, compared to 35p per pint in the UK. This has led to around 1 million pints of beer per day crossing the channel from France, much of which is smuggled for illegal resale in the UK. Oh, it's been a busy day. Um, I've learnt a lot from that brewery. Um, I think all that's left to do now is sit back, relax, 
with a beer. Oh, but do remember, when you sat on a nice hot day with your nice cold beer, just think about the brewers. Hats off to them. Cheers.